Our fam has taken countless trips throughout the Caribbean over the past two years, but this time we're spending the week surrounded by virgins. Islands, that is. After a five hour flight from Houston to the US side of this tropical paradise, we're about to let you know if the BVIs live up to all the hype or if we'd recommend abstinence. Getting to Scrub Island has taken some planning. I've gotten us to St. Thomas. Now I've booked us a water taxi and we're in a cab to get to the dock. So even though this is the US Virgin Islands so far, we're driving on the left side of the road instead of the right side of the road, which I would expect for the BVIs, but I wouldn't expect for the US Virgin Islands. It makes me nervous. I keep feeling like we have to swerve. <laughs> like... Now Scrub Island is in the British Virgin Islands and it doesn't have an airport and it's rumored to not have any cars, but I've been wrong about that before. We're on the boat and we have to go to Tortola to go through customs before making it over to Scrub Island. It's taking us around 90 minutes to get from marina to marina, including the dockside stopover for British customs. The water's on the choppy side and the wind's having its way with everyone's hair, but the views of each passing island dominate our attention until we pull up to the idyllic Scrub Island Resort and Spa. After the beautiful but frigid Adriatic Sea that we experienced in Croatia last week, Colt's anxious to check the water temp. It's kind of warm. Good. There are no lobbies or check-in lines to deal with here. We're greeted personally, stripped of our luggage, and escorted to our quarters the second we step off the boat. We have two units, and this is where Amanda and Brooklyn are staying. Phil and Colt and I are going upstairs. I think we're going to be right above. We're going to give you a full tour of these spacious digs in a bit, but let's start with a lay of the land. So what is it like to wake up here? Well, for our first full morning here, what better thing to do in a place like this than hit the beach? So we're just taking our walking path down here and we're gonna spend a little time down in the water. Scrub Island is not very big, but most of it is undeveloped. So in our itinerary, it says, walk around the island and pretend you're on a deserted island. What one item would you bring with you? For me? It'd be Colt, because he's the poisonous king, the survival king, uh, pretty much knows everything. I would take a boat. Amanda, what would you take? Sunscreen. Ah, of course she's healthier than all of us. <laughs> also, rumor has it that Scrub Island got its name because pirates found a ton of treasure and it was so old it had lots of barnacles on it and they had to scrub it off. And here it is, only 10 minutes I would say walk from our place and this is one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen. Quarter of a mile. And look, we've got a bar, a little restaurant, and a pool. Everything we need. This is the quintessential paradise. As much as I love hitting all of the countries we have visited over the past two years, there's something really cool and unusual about coming to a place this exotic, this beautiful, this tropical, not having to speak a new language, not having to worry about different currency, really seeing a completely new culture, but still having it be within this framework of familiarity. This is a really cool place to come after visiting all the countries we have. Great thing about this beach is bar and grill. So we got some dark and stormiers because that's a very Caribbean drink. And we're getting some fish and shrimp and some chips and salsa for the kids. And we're gonna eat it right here in the sand. This belongs to Mr. Philip Lockwood. Here you go. Thank you, baby. Oh, that's a lot stormier. It should be noted that if the staff over serves you dark and stormiers, they'll happily drive you back to the resort in one of their many golf carts. But a better plan is to eat while you drink and the on-site restaurant serves up some real island cooking. I feel like you know you're in a tropical vacation when you have plantains on every plate. So crunchy on the outside, delicious and sweet on the inside. Coconut sauce is bomb. And then this grouper with the sauce. I don't even know how they're cooking it back there, but it definitely tastes grilled. Char grill. No better place to eat like this than out on the beach. The bevies in the bevies. What do you have? I really don't know. It looks like a giant blue fence lizard. Any lizard I catch, I name it Dexter the Magnificent, but since we're not in Colorado, I have to name it Scrubby. The beach is pretty much perfect and serene, but they have two pools and we're gonna go check them out now. Back at the resort, the pavilion's the centerpiece of the property and a killer lagoon-style multi-tiered pool with waterfalls and infinity-edge views. Unwind in the hot tub, find your inner child on the water slide, or hit the multiple swim-up bars to keep the party going. But eventually, you're gonna look at your watch and realize that it's time for dinner. 
Cardamon is the more upscale of the two options that we have for restaurants here for dinner on the resort property. It's in the main building with a gorgeous view over the marina and the Caribbean Sea. So we're gonna have something real pretty to look at besides those blue eyes. The lighting is perfect out there. But I got the lamp and it is really, really delicious. Amanda and I got the filet mignon. Lunch done. Amanda had the best idea ever. We're gonna go back to our rooms and have a nightcap. It is a perfect sunny day in the BVs and we're gonna explore some other islands because there's more to see than just scrubs. And now we're gonna have bevies in the BVs on a boat. So where are we going today? It's a secret. Yeah. It's a secret. Oh. Welcome to the Virgin Islands. Thank you. Inspirado clearly set us up with one of the best private excursions available. A beautiful new yacht, three great crew, bottomless snacks, fruit, and rum punch, and a full day of island hopping through some of the most stunning geography on the planet. The cost started around 3,500 US. First stop, we're rolling up to Virgin Gorda Island, rum punch in hand, and we're gonna do the bats. And then our captain's telling us we're gonna take a trail to the other side and get picked up again there. Time to get the uh, waterproof bag put together because we're about to jump in the water. Virgin Gorda is the only island in the British Virgin Islands and the US Virgin Islands that has any boulders on it and nobody really knows why, but somehow all the boulders ended up on this island. And then just erosion broke them down into little pieces of sand. This is the path we need to take to get back to the boat. These boulders were formed by the erosion of granite formed by slow cooling liquid magma. What an adventure! And while you probably won't encounter any sharks with lasers, exploring the tide pools and caverns over the 15 minute hike is a must for your visit. Luckily, our crew knew the best time to visit so that we avoided the crowds that form when the cruise ship passengers make their way over. This is so beautiful. This is why they call it the, the bath, because it's like a spa in here. But now we have to swim back to the boat. We're starving and it is lunchtime. We are headed into Norman Island and this is called the Pirate's Bite because the pirate ships used to come and hide in this little cove and by the time anybody saw them it was too late. This restaurant is the only thing on this island. Fun fact, Norman Island is most famous for being the inspiration for Robert Louis Stevenson's novel Treasure Island. But this restaurant's another treasure with its new construction, beachside patio, varied menu, and of course, local cocktails. So what did Phil get me? Pirate smash. I think it has light rum, dark rum, and pineapple. All right, I got a couple of appetizers. This one is cracked conch. I think everybody knows what conch is, but if you don't, it's those really big shells that you can go to. And this alligator. And it's sugarcane alligator, so they actually have this sugarcane stick going right through these chunks of gator. Oh, that's good. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> I got some fish tacos. I've been craving these for a few days, so finally I'm getting them. And honestly, we've seen so much food walk past us. Everything looks delicious here. Spot on. Perfect for an island lunch. We're getting back on the boat. We're only halfway through with our day. Where are we going next? To the caves, that's right. This is a pirate cave where they used to find legit pirate treasure. This is Willie T's and it is a floating bar, restaurant, fun place. It stays here all the time, doesn't move. All right, so these are called the caves and we're gonna get in and snorkel a little bit and I think we're gonna try to head into the caves but there is a bit of a current which is gonna make it challenging. So we're getting a little help. Let's do it. Ordinarily, we shun motorized transportation when you can instead burn calories with a little manpower. But these toys are an awesome exception. Not only did they give a munchkin like Brooklyn the ability to outfight the current, but they're the closest you're gonna come to swimming like a dolphin. And our quick visit to the cave didn't uncover any treasure chests, but we're jumping back on board to go knock something off Amanda's bucket list. We're heading to the island of Joost van Dijk to visit the official birthplace of a cocktail that's as synonymous with the BVI's as Sir Richard Branson. And once again, this jaunt requires us to jump ship and swim to shore. What do you think? So pretty! <laughs> Which is exactly how this bar got its name, the Soggy Dollar. Brooklyn's gonna stay in the water because we didn't bring towels. They don't have towels here. And she gets cold very easily. And we're gonna get some painkillers. Yay! 
Soggy Dollar Snack Shack. So this is the original painkiller started right here. Yes. You can vouch for it. We have three painkillers, but can you make them a little strong? I made a few of those. All right, I love all that nutmeg in there. Oh my God, that's strong. <laughs> Cheers. All right, we dragged him up. Colt caught a lizard. Brooklyn already swam back to the boat because she was cold. Now we're gonna give him our empties and get ourselves back to the boat. How's my beach hair? This whole day has been incredible. We have to cruise back to Scrub Island the reason we're able to book stuff like this, it's through Inspirato, a travel program. So if you want to learn more about that, go to followabc.com slash pass. Amanda and I are hiking around Scrub Island. We found the spot and then Whale Watch Point, and it's a beautiful spot to sightsee. But now we're going to trek up this mountain looking thing over here. These are some steep hills. It's a butt burner for sure. We made it to the very end of Scrub Island and the views are well worth it. Well worth the incline. We're hitting the pool again and the more casual dining option here, Donovan's Reef. We're gonna get some lunch and lounge around. This kind of food is really good when you're on a vacation like this, but the views are really what make it. I could easily sit here all day, and so I think we probably will. Sounds like a plan to me. And since it's right next to the pool, it's great to let them play, and we can easily keep an eye on them. These are legit nachos. Sometimes when you're on vacation and you have a really good workout, you need a really high calorie lunch, and that's what I have here. Ooh, grouper, fish sandwich with some grilled red peppers and onions and carrots in there. It looks delicious. Even better than it looks. This is the Deli Cafe. It's also a little market. We're gonna pick up a few items for our villa. Well, we've been here a few times to get everything that we need for our room, but it's actually a combination of pizzeria, sandwich shop, deli that has all of the charcuterie and cheese you could ever need, and then back in here is more groceries. You can get everything from sunblock to beer to hard cider to Cereals, crackers, chips, eggs, everything that you need, primarily if you were coming here to the marina and staying on a boat. But it's worked out really well for us just staying in the rooms. They have a really great gym as far as resorts go. Come and take a look at this. A lot of times resort gyms can be very heavy on cardio equipment, but they have a very good mix of both in here. So plenty of these really good high-end life fitness machines so you can actually get some good iron pumping in. And for whatever reason, it's pretty much dead all the time, which anybody who goes to a gym will tell you is a good thing. They also have a few boutique stores, a dive shop, and the resort really operates like a little village. Let me take you around this two bedroom villa. We're starting off in the second bedroom. There's a desk, king size bed, big TV, and bathroom. <laughs> it's a big five piece bath. But let's check out the other side of this place because we have a full size kitchen. And this is big for us because we like to entertain. Sub-Zero refrigerator, real wolf range and oven, a microwave, a dishwasher, a full size sink, everything you need to actually have an in-home chef or cook amazing meals on your own. Okay, we're switching off again, this is so sexist because I have to show you the laundry room. But it's great because you have those wet suits and you can wash it before you go home and have a clean suitcase. And you have a great powder room right here. This is a four person dining table, so you can actually see seven and a pull out couch. So if you meet some friends on the beach, they can crash with you. But my favorite, the end all be all, is the view. Check out this balcony. Favorite time of day, hands down, having my coffee every morning on this balcony. And I'm gonna take you right into the master. Absolutely king size bed, another big TV, and this gorgeous bathroom. Closet space all around here, and this one has a safe, but I'm not gonna show it to you. I'm not gonna give you our code. A big tub, shower, two sinks, and a toilet. If you have different lodging needs, keep in mind that the resort has a bunch of different room sizes and styles, but they all have stellar views of the sea. For our last night on Scrub, our concierge Nelda sets us up with a farewell experience at sunset. Woo! 
You ready for an excursion? I'm ready for this. We're going up to the highest point on the biggest island. Big Scrub is what they call it. And we're going to have a sunset toast and watch a gorgeous sun go down over the Caribbean Sea. Thank you so much. Walk the entire way back down. What trail? Of course, he's already caught a lizard. Wow, this is stunning. Oh my gosh. I feel like we're on top of the world right now. Yeah, you are. Everybody is on top of the world. Oh, technically I, I, I she is right. In this oh, unreal. <laughs> so, has our Virgin Islands experience lived up to the hype? This place is as beautiful as the Exumas, as friendly as Costa Rica, as exotic as Belize, and as luxurious as any place we've traveled, but with the added convenience for Americans like us of sharing a native language and our native dollar. Scrub in particular was just the right mix of undeveloped, unspoiled nature and authentic luxury accommodations. If we had to pick a downside, we'd say piss off, because there isn't one. This is a perfect ending to the perfect spot in this world. So much gratitude for being here and a really great close to the day and the trip. Thank you to Scrub Island Resort and Spa. You're incredible. And thank you to Inspirato for all your help. This is amazing. You gotta come here. Come to Scrub. Cheers. Cheers, love.